What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 23 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that as the United States keeps taking its census every 10 years, in 2010, 1,000 people were living in Appleville and 4,000 in Bridgetown. Appleville's population doubles every 10 years. Bridgetown's population increases by 1,000 every 10 years. And we're trying to figure out the first census year that will show Appleville with a larger population than Bridgetown. Now, in order to do a question like this, you'll need to know how to translate word problems to function language and how to compare two functions. So let's actually go ahead and figure out a way to find patterns and functions from this. If the population of Appleville is predicted to double every 10 years, let's see, that'll be times 2 plus 1,000 for increase by 1,000. So I'll actually go ahead and just make a table so we can just see these patterns um, continue. Uh, all right, Appleville, Bridgetown, I don't know that this is going to be the answer 2050, but it'll let us keep the patterns going and see what we can discover. All right, so for 2010, the year we started, that's 1,000 people in Appleville and 4,000 people in Bridgetown. And since neither of these values or neither of these towns are going to have populations that aren't in the thousands, and since every year is 2000 and something, 2010, 2020, 2030, I am shortening my numbers for the sake of space. Um, so 1,000 and 4,000. If Appleville's population doubles, then I take this times 2 pattern. 1,000 times 2,000 is 2,000 or 1,000 times 2 is 2,000, times 2 is 4,000, times 2 is 8,000, times 2 is 16,000. So that's probably enough data to be using for now. For Bridgetown, they're going to increase by 1,000. So 4 plus 1 gives us 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. So now, if these predictions are coming true, if all this data is going to be um, what actually happens, we're figuring out what the first census year will be that will show Appleville with a larger population than Bridgetown. So, 2010, 1,000 to 4,000, Bridgetown takes it. 2020, 2,000 to 5,000, Bridgetown. 2030, 4,000 to 6,000, still Bridgetown. But in 2040, Appleville's population actually takes over Bridgetown's, which means that our answer for the first census year that will show Appleville with a larger population of Bridgetown is 2040. My four was horrible there, I just realized that. So now, we have our answer, and I need to actually figure out how to um, write it in the gridded response boxes. So here's a sample gridded response box template. If my answer is 2040, I give each digit of that number one box, find my two under the two, or find my two bubble under the two and bubble that in, my zero bubble under the zero, my four bubble under the four, and then my zero bubble under the zero. So that's how I solve and grid a question like this.